Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to RimWorld and in... Um, actually, I played a little bit without the recording on because it, I got a bit interrupted. So I'll just fill you in on, on what's been going on here. We are basically just started building this wall out here. So that we can enclose and have a main opening area here, which will be our kill zone. I've also increased our power production because it felt... Uh, a little bit like we were low on power and we were we were we had to turn stuff off just to make sure we didn't uh, sort of just straight out run out of power I have to also mine that and build a wall there gonna build a wall Granite? It's probably not granite, but now it, now it is going to be granite there. Uh, Patrick, are you up and around? Could you just uh, do that, please? Thank you. Psychic Soothe! Every male gender... What is going on? People are... It's just like... I guess... Is it compensating for the fact that we have very little food? Is that seeing that as a major problem? Well, it kind of is a major problem. To be fair. Let's hold that urgently. That looks a bit ugly. I might fix that later, but oh well. We need warm clothes. How's our cloth situation? Pretty bad. So, uh, we need warm clothes, but we're not gonna get warm clothes. Sorry about that. Maybe I should grow some cotton in the winter? Is that... That's not necessarily a priority, actually. How's this going? Growth rate zero. So, I guess they've harvested that already. In fact, I do need some more food first. So... We'll make another one of these. We have 140. Right around there. And uh, could actually smooth the floors. Is that this is gravel? Yeah, I need to do something about this ugly floor in here. So what we'll do first of all is uh, Yeah, might seem pretty weird like we're trying to manage the colony and stay alive and alive and everything like that. And like, yes, what we really need to work on is smoothing these floors. Because smooth floors are important, damn it. Yeah. Okay, so, oh well. Aesthetics are important. They are, they really are. Um, Alright, so these are not growing at 66%, and we're going to have another hydroponics basin right here, and we are going to plop down rice. Is it getting? It's getting power, yes. So, we're going to get someone to take care of that right soon. And I'm very pleased with how quickly you got this wall built. So now what we can do is we can start seriously getting this place ready. Let's cut all the plants from around here. Don't want any of that stuff there. And then we're going to see about how we're going to get this set up. We have some. We can make banker charts already. We have enough components, and we can easily get more components. Seems like a bit of iron back there, actually. Let's see, we can put a door in here. Let's put a limestone door right around there. Just to easily, more easily get out to these areas. Oh, we have, and we have way more iron back here as well. Although I'm a little bit worried about creating a spawning point for insects down here. I'll have to see about that. At least it's far away, far removed. We can potentially pretty easily get to them. Alright, so, um, but anyway, let's uh, let's first think about this stuff over here. How are, how are people doing right now? We have, uh, have some leather, but not enough really. Supreme pants. Wow, nice. Glad to see we have some supreme pants in the house. It's always good with pants. Pants are good. We also have 19 meals. Uh, we should have some rice coming soon. There we go. And that will be used to cook more food. Alright, but I think that what we can and should work on right now is this area here. So what I'm envisioning is a kind of... Um, let's first do the easy, the straightforward thing here and start with a 
limestone wall down to about here. And then another here. Kind of like a box good trader. Okay, cool. Box good is always good. Uh, let's do like that. And actually cancel out that thing. Okay, so what I'm doing here is I'm going to do like a an approach zone. So let's see there. And our friends can always come in through our doors, so that's fine. I think Lady Ansu was our main talker. Yes, she was. Go and have a chat. See what we can get out of them. How are you doing? So again, we could buy loads of pemmican. We've eaten all the pemmican already, so obviously it wouldn't be a bad idea to get more. We could also buy some agave fruit, which is... Uh, it's uh, somewhat nutritious. 0 0.05. I don't know what that means, so... Probably good, but um, let's see what we can what we can get. Can get some berries too. We got a lot of stuff. So it seems like no one's wearing a synthread pants. Why is that? I do not know. They have some excellent overalls. Cargo shorts. We want them for summer. We have some excellent boomer. I don't, I don't know. Thermal pants. They're too expensive. We have two hundred thirty-seven. Right, since we have we seem to have lots of pants, so let's sell sell the normal kind that we have. We also have an absolute enormous amount of wood. Now we are going to use that at some point, but maybe we could uh, ditch some of it right now. Let's see. I, I want to hold on to it in, unless we have to get rid of it. We can sell all this. We don't have enough to make something out of it, so might as well sell all this and make it stop take up room in our inventory. And that gives us a nice little piece of silver. There we go. We already have 380. Let's keep the cloth though, because we're going to get more of that. So, how do you want to do with this then? Should we just buy a bunch of berries? Because berries are, are good to eat raw. Nice to eat even when raw. So, yeah. Let's buy all your berries. And what about agave fruit? Is that raw agave fruit? That's not so nice to eat raw, I guess. We could buy that just to get through. No, we already are using up more money than we have, so... To do this, we'd have to... Alright, let's sell them like 200 wood. That way we can afford all this. Yeah, we'll just buy the berries. It's fine for now. I wouldn't mind... Selling them something uh, expensive, but we don't really have anything expensive to sell them. So we'll buy berries. That's fine. Yummy. Get the berries. Get all the berries. Um, I guess we can have those hold quickly. Okay. Nice. So, how's this coming along? Okay, so what I'm trying to do here is... Uh, I think that funnels them in through here. And then I can build some traps right there. And then we're going to build a little uh, kill area here. I'll show you in a minute uh, what I have in mind. Actually, I can already set it up here. Granite blocks, we want uh, a little area like this. Like a In fact, I think we will make a few holes right here for... Like so. And... Uh, I don't know if this is big enough, but it, it'll, it'll serve. Put some traps in here. Follow them through here. We'll actually might put a wall. Now, why did I build it like this? So, oi, 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 oi. Toxic Fallout. Well, that's fun. Um, good thing we set up our... Uh, 
What fun. Okay, so this means that we have to deal with some issues. Those issues being uh, everyone's going to die. Well, not exactly like that, but... So, alright, toxic fallout. So what that means is basically the air outside is going to get poisonous. Staying outside for long periods will mean you slowly perish. So, uh, what that means is we can't go outside, or we shouldn't go outside very much. Meaning that we need to create... Uh, actually, we're going to create a roofed area here. Expand the roofed area to include a little chicken coop there, like that. And in fact also include like that. Oh, well, we could put roof here too. I don't know why it shows up like that. it's not roof, but it's fine. Okay, and now we then expand an allowed area, calling it uh, area one. And we're going to rename this soon. And there's area one. Okay, where did I put this roof area? Okay, there. Area one. Uh, I'm going to remove the parts that shouldn't be included in this in a minute, but. Okay, clear load area, area one. Now, let's check that we actually have roof over all that area that I just selected. I think we do. Yes, we do. And we also need to expand animal area one. And we're going to call it animal inside in just a bit, but for now we're just going to do like that. And clear animal area one, clear this, clear that, clear all that. Okay. And then uh, manage areas. Actually, I'm going to rename this fallout shelter basically and we are also going to call this animal inside all right so everyone into the fallout shelter please good and also animals animal inside oh we got the turkey oh lovely we have a breeding pair of turkeys that is so nice now, do they have anything to eat? I don't know. I don't know about that. They just might not. So, uh, but let's worry about that later. Luckily, we just bought a bunch of berries. We are planting a bunch of rice. We should be fine as long as our power supplies hold out. Our power supplies should hold out as long as um, things that get, get overly messed up. I'm actually going to make a little joy thing inside now to make sure people don't get super bored let's put it um, let's put it there and put some uh, furniture a nice uh, let's actually put some nice square tiny chairs like that make sure people have something fun to do the trade car is leaving everyone should be inside now now I could have people outside for a while uh, just for long enough to uh, for long enough for them to build certain things uh, and just check on them and take them inside once they start uh, showing signs of uh, toxic fallout buildup and uh, that's actually completely fine. That would be completely fine to do. So I'll actually consider doing that now. Yeah, look at all the nice green. Um, because we could have people still go out and hunt, we could, uh, low food. Why are you saying low food? We have lots of, loads of berries, don't we? Okay, we're down to not so many berries right now, but it's fine. We're going to be fine. Because we have rice. We're going to have enough rice to get through. So, toxic fallout is going on. Mm. It's not like we wanted to go out anyway. It's nasty out there. Could just let let's see that we have this fallout shelter. Yep, yeah, it's big enough to include all this iron that he can dig out there. So we would have time to do some uh, decorating here. Let's put down some 
nice floors while we're here. Raid? Uh, from Alliance of Beboala. Tribespeople, huh? Well. Okay, well this should be interesting. Let's see how they decide to approach. Probably, I can pretty much see how they... Pro the, the, the most logical way for them to attack is, of course, through here. We haven't set up any traps or anything right now, but we could have uh, people... Why is Alexi researching? Doesn't he have anything better to do, like make food? I guess not. I guess we have enough food. Well, anyway, um, back to the issue at hand, the raid. Well, let's see how they walk a little bit here. We're gonna let this... Um, okay. So they're gonna they're gonna probably approach to here. So let's take a look at our people. We have quite a good we have haven't been able to cut all the trees down yet, but we can. Uh, sorry about waking everyone up, but we are going to just put everyone here for now, and then uh, see a bit closer. It's not it's not dangerous to be out for short periods of time, so we'll be fine for a while. Could also, uh, we're also now using up a lot of, we're producing way more power than we're using up. Which means I actually should turn on all the lights and all the things, all the time. Just because. Why not? Let's make it nice and comfy. Alright, let's see them how they approach. How many are there anyway? And they're tribes people, so they have kind of... Uh, Primitive weapons, but primitive weapons can be dangerous. Do not be deceived. They can be really dangerous. Now, um, the way they're going to approach is from out there. So maybe we can just already put... Uh, put you over there. Put you over here. So these things, even though they're half-built, you can't shoot through them, I don't think, if I remember correctly. You go over there. Pepe, go over. You know that's where. That's exactly where you can't shoot through. Let me think here. Uh, Patrick, I guess you just um, stand by. Alexi, oh, you. Someone's already there. Um, did you go over there? Let's see where 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 this ends up being. See, so, yeah, grasshopper. What are you gonna do? You're attacking limestone wall. Yeah, you're all. You're all channeling around in here because there is an opening here. If you close yourself in, if you build walls all around, they will start attacking the walls. But So that's why it's smart to leave an opening where they can channel through. Let them find a, a seemingly smart place to attack from. And uh, then you get yourself a nice trap. Let's see if we can do it like that. Hopefully they can see from over there. Okay, get them up. Get them, get them, get them, get them. Yep, yeah, it seems like we are getting a nice... Take him out. Okay, good. Now Pepe is in a bad spot. There's actually no cover right there, so move. Alright, seems like we're gonna take this fa fairly well. Oh, someone's coming from up there. Alright, Patrick. Go melee, melee attack them. Alright, they're running. Oh, Pepe, come on! Don't shoot your friends. Fred, how fast are you? Are you fast enough to take them out? Okay, so aside from some people shooting their friends, which we've talked about, that's not cool. Um, well, we haven't actually talked about it, but you know, they should know that's not cool. Uh, oh, here we have someone. Crocodile! What kind of person are you? Gay, steadfast, with a chemical interest. Sounds like a bunch of people I know. Um, no, um, let's see. Oh, seriously, though, he is uh, not incapable of anything. And he has a growing of six. That is good. Growing of six, we like. Uh, even though he can't do anything else, that's fine already. We have also... Hoo, 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 look at this Jogger Jeller's Trigger Happy Grasshopper. Now, are you guys okay? Are you guys uh, very, very, very dead? You know what? Okay, let's see that we uh, 
have rooms for you guys. We don't fully yet, but we can fix that. We can fix that. So let's uh, let's get some stuff set up here. First of all, we are going to turn this uh, thing on. Is it already designated? Turn it on. And actually, we're going to turn uh, let the people be unrestricted for a while because we need to haul some things. And uh, never mind, let Wolverine go. It's all fine. Fred, capture Grasshopper. And then we're going to put a. Um, going to make this into a room again, right quick. I'm just going to put a sleeping spot in here. But we are going to, as soon as possible, also build a bed. And uh, do we have any of those nice... No, we don't. We don't have any uh, end tables yet, but we'll put that in there. Make it nice and cozy. We're going to have it so nice for you, sir. So nice for you, sir. For prisoners. And uh, I don't you, Pepe, who likes to shoot friends. Oh, did he actually shoot? No, he shot Lady Anzu or something. So I was wondering if he shot one of those people he doesn't like. Capture crocodile. And then they are dead. And uh, Yep. We didn't get that many people, but... Alright. So I think, yeah, go for it. Go and pick people up. Get people. How, how badly hurt was Lady Anzu? Uh, not too bad. Not too bad at all. So, let's get things. So, we managed that rain fairly easily. I could also have people, if I, would, if I felt so inclined, we could go and... Uh, actually, now it's the time to check if... Because uh, all of these animals are going to die. So, if there are animals who die fairly close by... Yeah, I mean, they died from toxic fallow, but they're still good to eat. So, uh... What's going on here? Okay. Okay, put them in there. Put them in there. Uh, Lady Atsu, could you... Oh, you're uh, actually gonna go rest, which is probably good. We should get someone to... Uh, Patrick, what are you doing? Ah, okay, you're uh, carrying that dead hair to stockpile too. That's okay. Let's take a look at everyone's health now. Toxpilot, initial, initial. That's fine, that's fine. Minor, okay. You may not be outside anymore. Initial. Pip, pip, get inside uh, as soon as you can. Where are you going? No, Pip. Back inside. You have too much toxic buildup. Okay, now let's see how this will go. Uh, how's Lady Answer doing? Is are people treating people? Who are our doctors? Uh, we have Wilhelm, Lady Answer. Actually, yeah, Wilhelm, can you please uh, prioritize tending to Lady Anzu? And then, see, she needs to then tend to you. Okay. Right. Um, Patrick, how are you doing? Are you well enough to be doing that, actually? Initial. Okay. Well, if you wouldn't mind... Let's, uh, get all that done. So, severe, severe illness. Oh, crocodile. Um, Wilhelm, could you, um, okay, you're already doctoring. It's good. Glad to see it. How badly are you hurt, Wilhelm? So, oh, your right toe is cut off. You need to get treated uh, pretty soon. Can someone turn that on, please? Okay. Left arm cut off. Really? Alexi? For sure. Oh, shoot. Well. We have to see about that, don't we? Now, Wilhelm, could you... Good. Go rest. And also, what are you doing? Tending to grasshopper. Okay. Very, very well. And then we need to get you to build some stuff for us. Sorry about that. That's just how we have to do. How's uh, those corpses doing? 
Patrick, are you? I didn't realize we're gonna have to do, um, get prosthetics going soon. Health initial, all right. Health initial, initial, initial. Lady Ansu, what are you doing right now? Tending to Alexi. What about your husband? Goodness gracious. Oh, we should have a door in here that goes a bit faster. Let's put that door here. Okay. All right, time to get things going a bit. So very honest still. Crocodile. Well, how's, how's it going, crocodile? Are you getting some kind of infection or something? Blood looks extreme, but you're patched up. It's fine. Just uh, let someone go and... Um, okay, Lady Anso, you still need patching up? No, come on. I need you to build that better. Sorry. How cold is it? Minus two? Ah, okay, it's a cold, but you're just gonna have to deal with it. Alright, so we are keeping up with food somewhat. How bad is your... Pretty tough to recruit you, but let's try anyway. Let's try anyway. Um, same here. Hard to recruit, but we're gonna try, darn it. Okay, we're gonna put a torch in here to... Uh, help heat this room up a little bit. I know it's gonna hurt our freezer uh, effectivity, but oh well. Oh, how's Fred's um, initial? Okay, nothing there. And Alex's left arm is cut off. Good grief. What am I researching? Electric, that kind of stuff. Well, we actually need to be going on to where are they now? What can we do? Multi analyzer? No, 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 no. Um, do we already have them? Super soil, arguments, prosthetics. Here we go. We know basic prosthetics, but we also need to go to simple prosthetics workbench. Ah, yes. Oh, well, where should we put those anyway? We do have some room in here. Could put a prosthetics workbench in there, sure enough. Uh, basic prosthetics workshop, we'll put that right there. And a little piece of ice tool right there. Not there. Get away. Alright, how's this coming along? Are you 2% grown? 71% grown? 64% grown? Should be fine. Fred's not feeling that great. Fred! Fred! What's the matter, Fred? Uh, rebuffed by Pat... Oh, yes. Patrick is a girl. Yes, that's right. Oh, Patrick and Fred. Well, maybe you'll get along one of these days. Ish. Right, I wish I could somehow... Aha! Down. It'll die soon. It's resting. Wandering. So, these animals will start dropping soon. And I need to stay on the lookout for that, because... For example, this guy. How's he doing? Extreme. It's gonna die soon. And when they do... Aha! Here! Dead for less than a day. Get him. Alright. Let's send someone out there to get them ASAP. Because that's just food. Yeah, sure, it's toxic, but it's only toxic when you breathe it, kinda. So... Let's make sure that uh, Bandicap opportunity. Riesling, the chief of the Blue Ridge Pact, has sent you a message. We can take out some bandits. Um, okay, well, let's go. Let's go have a look at this, just to see what it is. But I probably won't risk a raid at this point. So that's not too far away. Um, so, small guard outpost, but 
But my people are not strong enough yet to start taking out outposts. We haven't even built our defenses yet. So we'll forget about that for now. Health. Are you... Uh, how's Pepe doing these days? Okay, we can put him back on... Uh, Unrestricted. Alexi. You really don't have anything to do? Let's, uh... Are you dead yet? No, not yet. Good. We're getting these things hauled. Major break risk. Oh my goodness. Fred. Fred, 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 Fred. Okay, uh... I want you to... Uh, we don't have any beers or anything. Can Fred just chill out? For a while? Yes, he's gonna go chill out. Good. Do that. Okay. So, it's important to notice that these bodies don't have any... Don't tell me. What was that? What went just... What just went boom? Oh. A boom rat ex uh, died. Well, that's to be expected. Alright. Uh, okay. Is it dead? Yes. All it urgently. Someone. Someone go out there and hold that stuff. That thing as well. Hold it urgently. Let's see how much food we can uh, get out of here. Hold that. And at the same time we need to monitor people's... Uh... Now, can we make uh, replacements for arms? We don't have that built yet. So Lady also has your health, initial, initial, okay, everything's fine so far. Just gonna uh, try to make the most out of this. It's dead, haul it. Dead, haul it. Alright, we got electric smelting, good. Now we need to get the simple prosthetics, quickly. Tissue printer, all kinds of stuff we can make, okay. RT mods, what's that? Basic fuses, oh, we want that as well. So many things. So, how are things, how are things? All the dead animals. Hold that one, so. Okay. Uh oh! Mad animal! A rat, huh? Alright. Fine. Who's gonna be closest to it? Fred? You can just haul it. Alright. Alright, uh, but I do need to check people's health. Initial. Initial. Minor. So Lady Antsu is... Uh, immediately, whatever you, you're done with doing, whatever you're doing, you stay inside. Same thing with uh, Patrick. Alexis seems to be fine still, so... Here are some more ones. All that. All that. Okay, we still have plenty of room in our f in our freezer for more. So, as, so as, as long as we have people who are able to weather initial still, get good. Minor. Okay, so Wilhelm is out of that duty. Initial minor. And Alex just does not seem to uh, have any problem with that. Frederick is still a bit on the downside. And what is that? What is with Frederick? Is it... So, ugly environment, feeling bad. Sick? Hungry? Oh, he's a bit sick. Uh, yes. But hungry? Good grief, man. Go eat. A raid. Okay. Well, you know what? I think this is a good place to call a break. Let's just see what they're what they're doing here. They are. We have it's against the face beaters of murder, and uh, let's see who is it. Matthew Butch. Those grenades might be a bit tricky if he's going to try to frag his way through our walls. Let's see how they plan to do that and and, and react appropriately. Possibly that that would mean that they'll split up their forces, and that would be fine by me. But we want to make sure that people stay indoors now, so that they, if they're outside, they come back in. But in the next episode, we will, um, I, 
we will continue. We have enough food now, especially with the Megatherium being uh, being slaughtered. It provides a lot of food. And uh, it is the 12th of December, which means that uh, pretty soon the spring is going to come and we will be able to grow our food outside again. Um, how's Crocodile doing now? Hey, Crocodile. Still a very, very, very tough sale there to try to get him. But we're going to try anyway, because both Crocodile and Grasshopper seem to be extremely capable colonists, or people who would turn into colonists, should we get so lucky. But uh, that will be in the next episode. Until then, and as always, as a lot of people say, I hope you have a good one. Bye!